live and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where entertainment is what I do. It's action figure time, y'all. And I figure we should figure on into an action figure. Um, that is the Hawkman from Black Adam. We're gonna get into it here in a second. But before we do, I need y'all to do what y'all always do for a brother like myself. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the Be Real with D Real page so that when new material comes out, you get it. If you're digging what a brother's shoveling, that's a shoveling motion. Put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the Be Real with D Real page. Let's get it. Well, before we get it, let's do this. Hawkman. Here's some things you need to know about Hawkman. Okay, Hawkman as a character was first introduced in Flash Comics number one all the way back in 1940. Now, interesting thing. This Hawkman is known as Carter Hall. Okay? And he is a, a museum. He works at a museum, an archaeologist, museum, curator, all of that thing. Also, with um, the Carter Hall Hawkman, he is the reincarnation of an Egyptian prince by the name of Khufu. And Khufu is killed by uh, a someone who, who was in his court named Hathset. And as he's dying, he tells Hathset, we're going to be reincarnated. And then next time, I'm going to be victorious. Okay. And Hathset, um, I believe, ends up becoming the villain known as the Shadow Thief. Uh, and he meets Shaira Saunders and they become the Hawks. Now, in the 1950s, DC did an interesting thing when they started retconning all of these old characters like the Golden Age Flash got retconned into Barry Allen, the Golden Age Green Lantern, got retconned into Hal Jordan. The Golden Age Adam got retconned into uh, Ray Palmer. The Golden Age uh, Hawkman, okay? Instead of being Carter Hall, he was an alien policeman from the planet Thanagar named Tatar Hall. Lazy writing. Um, but anywho, um, things just kind of go down kind of the same way. The Hawks are aliens. But then for the next 30, 40 years, Hawkman's origin is so convoluted and back and forth. And DC Universe is restarted and restarted and retconned and rebooted. You just lose track of it. You know what I'm saying? Personally, me, I would just stick with the Ktar Hall, the Thanagarian. That makes more sense. Okay, because the reincarnation thing gets kind of convoluted. So the question becomes which Hawkman is this supposed to be? They call him Carter Hall, but is he the Carter Hall Hawkman or is he Ktar Hall? Where did he get all of that money to buy all that nice shit, them jets and, and that big fancy mansion and the X-Men pool and all? This has been your Hawkman history moment. <laughs> Let's get to this action figure. In all, well, most of his glory, it is Katar Hall, excuse me, Carter Hall, a.k.a. the Hawkman. I am going to take a wild guess and say um, this 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 Carter Hall is based on the Egyptian prince Khufu Carter Hall, and he's just kind of Batman-like because that's what it kind of seems like. 
So let's just say it's based on the Egyptian prince thing, especially since they cast the Aldous Hodge as Hawkman here. Uh, comes with some accessories, a couple accessories. Uh, he's got, of course, the mace and the wings. How come there are some scenes where Hawkman doesn't have his wings? My response to that, budget limitations. <laughs> because CGI and things like that cost a little bit of money. And they wanted to focus all their CGI and money on, excuse me, on Dwayne Johnson. That's the best explanation that I can give folks who are having inquiring mind. Okay, let's um let's accessorize Hawkman here and um see what the do's and don'ts, wills and wants are, shall we? Okay, looking a little more hockey there. He's got that damn, that mace looks big. <laughs> um Fairly easy to, fairly easy to pose, fairly easy to pose. Um, but I find with like with all winged characters, um, there's always a disparity, a difficulty, something going on with the wings. In this case, if you look real close, trying to turn these wings up into a flap or or like more of a battle ready position, they're running into the helmet wing. So there's a minor adjustment that needs to be done for that. And so if you want to be in a pose like such as that, you can be uh, fairly poseable. You know, the articulation is good. I mean, I like that. That even the, the, the toe bend is going on there pretty well. Tom McFarlane's figures are always pretty well sculpted. Um, but like I said, just the disparity with winged figures and trying to get them to adjust accordingly can be a trial. Uh, some things that might have improved this figure if that helmet was removable. But overall, it's a nice looking figure. And like I said, while I liked Black Adam, I didn't love Black Adam, but Aldous Hodge's Hawkman was one of the shining moments. Uh, the battle with Sabak, the battle with Black Adam. Hawkman really shined in that movie. And I don't know, maybe, maybe Black Carter Hall will earn a spot in the Black Superheroes uh, Parthenon up there along with one Sam Wilson. So that's comic book Falcon. Um, who's a cooler looking character? I got a 12 inch uh, like Sam Wilson, uh, Winter Soldier, but like I said, Anthony Mackie, ain't my guy. <laughs> um, I support some things, depends on what they are, but ain't gonna be a whole lot of them. Uh, are y'all enjoying? Taking a look at that hawk man in all his glory. I wish his wings could straighten out and you could hold, you know, he could hold them straight out. Um, but unfortunately, without some some DIY, that isn't going to happen. But this has been your action figuring. And overall, I like it. The posability is cool, except for the wings. Uh, the mace, he holds it pretty firmly. Um, but if you look at it from a side angle, some couple, it's got it's like a like a little bend to it. I don't know if you can see that. Like, see, see right there along that area right there, a little bit of a bend. But um, I think that's just more uh, a, a packaging thing than a manufacturing thing. So <laughs> your Hawkman's mace may differ. <laughs> and here we are. That is your action figure for today. Do you like this Hawkman? I know there are a few people that own this too. Um, I believe my man Sinclair the Wolf, I think he has one of these. Shouts out to you, Sinclair, and your show. Love watching you uh, demolish folks um, at Tekken. <laughs> uh, maybe one day I had to get up on there and 
demolish or get demolished. <laughs> we'll see. Now, I make no promises. I don't want to get embarrassed. <laughs> this has been your action figure, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I will be coming at you with another one of them other ones. And until I do, yo, y'all be good. Be good to each other.